all right so new day cloudy day stormy day we had some rains that came in some rains some rain that came in so this little window here i'm gonna toss around this nico leach this is uh, one of the new colors they just came out with i'll pop up the name of it here because i'm not sure right now but we're gonna hit the banks of the susquehanna here and hopefully get on some smallmouth with it let's see what happens well, as you can see i have this paired with a north branch tackle sled jig this is an awesome pairing because you can rig it so nothing can catch the hook you can dig it right into the plastic and that's what i did specifically because of all this grass so this should be less of a hassle picking the grass off all the time well if i can cast it out there look at that no grass i'll take that after getting all that rain as i was coming over penge creek Penge Creek is extremely high and just blown out right now. It's just chocolate milk. Surprisingly, the river has not come up at all. But I guess give it a day or two. It's probably gonna rise a little bit, which I'm okay with, because that seems to be when the fish get more moving and grooving, so to speak. And like I said for my last video, coming up at the end of August here, so fall is right around the corner. And for those of you that don't know, that is prime time fishing. Something small just tugged on it right there. All right, if you ain't big enough to eat it, I don't want to hook you. I know what, I will be shocked if we don't at least get one fish. And just the atmosphere, cloudy, low breeze, there was a fish. Just a really fishy day. We're definitely not gonna catch anything now. Let's go try somewhere else. There we go, there's one. Get out of the grass. a decent one I mean it's not a baby baby it's a nice one thanks for the fight bud I feel like that's what so many anglers say it's just like the go-to word it's, that's a decent one because it is I mean we catch a lot of dinks catch the medium cookie cutter size like that and then we catch the big ones all right good morning new day new opportunity we're gonna start here where I left off yesterday where I caught that one. Actually, the river has slightly come up from all that rain we've been getting. Thankfully, it's still not chocolate milk. I have this leech still tied on. I believe this is gonna be the ticket today. I wanna to throw top water, but there's so many strands of grass and leaves and everything still floating down. It's just gonna be more of a headache. And anything because my bait's not gonna walk like it's supposed to that spook has like a zigzag action when you get a blade of grass on it it does not zig or zag oh oh i just had one right there i didn't even get a minute to collect myself as soon as i hit the water i felt my line being pulled Well, I'm on my way to Bass Pro Shops, and as I'm passing this spot, I saw there's nobody here, so I'm gonna make some casts. It's pretty dirty, a lot of grass. I got this leech still tied on, so that's what I'm gonna chuck around. I've been in this spot maybe like three times, and every time I come, there's always a boatload of people, so I really haven't fished it too much. So maybe this will be the day to finally catch something here. Oh, I just had one right there. All right, after seeing this water, I think I'm gonna switch to something that has some moving appendages. Like I said, the water is dirty, and this doesn't really 
I mean, this is more of like a clear water bait for me for like finesse fishing. So I'm gonna switch lures real quick, put on a jig. We're gonna try again. All right, I'm gonna start with a bladed jig here. And if I can't get anything on this or I get a bunch of grass on it, I have another jig that I can just drag on the bottom. This is actually a North Branch Tackle bladed jig. He threw me a couple of these a couple months back and I've been throwing them here or there. I think we'll be able to get on one with this. Plus, support local. Yeah, all this grass. Figured it'd be an issue. Still gonna push through, keep casting with it. There we go, there's a the fish. Perseverance paid off. It's not a big one, which is kind of good. So I can just lift them up here. But hey, at least we didn't get skunked here. First time catching one here. I don't know if I said this, but I do have a leech on there for a trailer. There we go, first one of the day. They even have like a little measuring board here. Yeah, 10 incher, 10 and a half. Thanks for the fight, bud. Let's see if there's a couple more out there. And this is actually a really nice channeling point here. So you have current coming in right there. Then this current coming down this way. It's got like a little point here where the currents meet. And it's really hard to fish here with all this grass floating. So the water came up, so it's ripping all this grass away. And you just have strands of it floating everywhere. And it's all right. Sometimes you can just rip your rod through it try to get the grass off but it's like every cast last cast fish on it's about the same size as the other one i just caught it's all right though I said i was about to leave it's called last cast Well, good news is they're here. Bad news is, well, not really bad news, but they're not very big. There we go. Another squeaker. Thanks for the fight, bud. All right, we have like the last half hour of daylight here before dark. I'm going to toss around one of those lures. If you guys saw my short, I picked up buzz bait from Bass Pro Shops. I really don't throw a buzz bait too often, so... Kind of interested to see how we make out with it this evening a little bit of chop on the water so that should help and this one is not a full size buzz bait this is like on the minier side so to speak i do have a little six cents trailer on there it's like a minnow with a trailer hook too just in case they want to short strike it try to land as many fish as we can let's move up river here we're gonna make a few stops along the way and like i said racing against daylight here but i think we'll be able to find at least one to bite chris and i were just talking and a fish blew up right out here i can't cast that <sighs> got one on the buzz bait Take that. Not a bad one. Saw some fish blowing up along the side here. Chuck this buzz bait. Chris and I were watching them blow up over there. There we go. It's a nice one. Thanks for the fight, bud. Well, at least I got to break in this little buzz bait. Chris and I were just talking about some littler 
folks, so to speak. Kids like 10, 12 years old, they've been out here waiting around, which is fine, but we just want to make sure, I'm speaking to all the kids in the area, if you're watching this, be safe out there. This current can be strong. It's probably highly suggested that if you don't know how to swim, definitely wear some type of life preserver, just a life jacket or something. So the last thing we want, I mean, we care about our community. We care about our people. The last thing we want is anything tragic to happen. We want everyone out here having fun, having a good time. But yeah, just make sure you're safe. And parents that are listening, keep an eye on your kids too if they come down the river. Don't just let little ones running around swimming and stuff if they don't really know how to swim. I mean, I can't tell people what to do. I just highly, highly encourage you guys, definitely be safe, especially with the colder water starting to drop now. And I can do my part and say it, but you guys need to do your part and do it too. Oh, just had one right there. I'm trying to get used to it with the buzz bait. As soon as you, as soon as it hits the water, I start reeling it so it doesn't sink. All right, this is probably going to be the last stop, just because it's going to get too dark for you guys to see. At least we got into one nice one tonight. I mean, it ain't over yet, but I'm thankful for that one. All right, that's going to be it for this video. It's going to be one of those ones that's to be continued because I'm definitely going to be out here more throwing this buzz bait around as well as some other lures. But again, just to reiterate what I was saying earlier, safety first. I mean, we want everybody to have fun, but safety is definitely priority, especially for you little anglers out there. So with that being said, I will see you guys soon. And until then, stay fishing, stay anchored. God bless you.